Welcome back to Live at 5 at 4. For several years, the Gatlinburg Pittman High School Highlanders have not had a student, Bagpiper, to lead the football team onto the field. It was kind of a tradition. It was a tradition. This is really cool. Emily DeVoe introduces us to the student who brought the spectacle back and tells us what will happen after he graduates this year. With Jacob Starker, the Gatlinburg Pittman Highlanders start each game on the right note. Having Jacob out here in his kilt with the bagpipes, it really gets the energy going. It is mayhem. The kids love it, the parents love it, people wait for it, they know it's coming. The high school senior began learning the bagpipes as a freshman. The few people who knew, you know, they kept it secret and a lot of them thought I wouldn't do it. When he marched on the field for the first time. Everyone lost it. I remember hearing screams all around me like, yeah, go Jacob. Everyone was cheering so loud. A Highlander tradition that had long since disappeared was back. People have done this before in the past. I'm glad to say I'm bringing it back. Starker has his eyes on pursuing music in college after he graduates. I have more of a passion towards classical music or music, you know, sit down music, I guess, um, older styles instead of bagpipes. So bagpipes would probably become more of a hobby. With no other bagpipers in the grades below him, the Highlander tradition was once again at risk of disappearing. If we don't have anyone to fill those shoes, you know, Jacob's going off to college, so there's no one to teach the kids. And so what's my job as band director to teach the kids how to play music? So band director Greg Finch began taking lessons of his own to one day not just teach another student to play, but teach an entire program. I really want to build a pipe and drum program here at Gatlinburg Pittman High School to carry on that tradition and to give kids the opportunity to learn bagpipes and drums and be a part of the heritage here. Jacob's been such a blessing to have in our program and he's opened up a whole new avenue for us. And he's also inspired younger kids to want to follow in his footsteps. So when he does take his last steps on the field at the end of the season, it's only the beginning of a much longer journey of bagpipers for the Gatlinburg Pittman Highlanders. For Live at 5 at 4, I'm Emily DeVoe. That's awesome. I mean, pretty <laughs> cool, and that tradition now will continue. Yeah, uh, Jacob and his teacher, Greg, have formed friendships with the musicians in Knoxville Pipes and Drums who you saw performing with them on the field. They say they will use their instruments to help bring not just the school together, but the entire community. That's awesome.